PeopleSoft HCM delivers the new Position Management Insights tile, which gives administrators access to a collection of analytics to help oversee and manage positions. The Position Management Insights dashboard provides visual representations of position data metrics, displays headcount data, identifies pending approval requests, and lists details of positions that meet the filter criteria. The top of the dashboard lists the most common filters to help examine data according to your requirements. Position metrics provide valuable counters based on your filter settings for total positions, breaking the information down to the percentage of full and part-time positions, as well as regular versus temporary positions. The position filled statuses are shown as counters and as a visualization, helping you to understand positions that may require action. Select the Eligible for Remote Work number count to see the breakdown for positions that allow work from home. You can see the top departments that have open positions or positions that are only partially filled, as well as quickly identify positions that do not have a reports to manager. The position headcount metrics enable you to see the allotted headcounts for your positions. For example, if you want to view the open headcount for a specific department, select Bar Item, and all the visuals will reset to display information for that department filter. You can quickly see how many headcount spots are open within that department and the top job titles that need to be filled. The Approval Status of Position Requests section contains information for position requests. Use the Pending Approval Status visualization for day-to-day -day position administration tasks. Identify if there are any position requests pending approval or see if there's a position request pushed back to you for rework. You can even adjust the days to see which requests fall outside of an acceptable waiting period. The Position Details grid lists positions relevant to those shown with the current filters. This allows administrators to see and access position data, such as viewing the incumbents or reports to manager for a position or make any updates to a position. This completes our demonstration of the Insights for Position Management feature. PeopleSoft HCM delivers extended role-based access to the team calendar, encompassing administrators, matrix teams, and business partners, and also the capability to delegate the team calendar along with its associated events. The administrator calendar enables administrators to view events for schedule, holidays, work anniversaries, and birthdays out of the box. You can use the Select Team page to search and navigate to the required team calendar view. The search fields on this page can be modified using the Calendar Preferences page. For a bi-weekly view of the team calendar, switch to the Bi-weekly tab. You can use the Change Team option to narrow the list of employees or navigate to a different team calendar. Select an employee to view more details like date, role, schedule, and absence event. You can also access the related actions as configured by your organization. Selecting the Matrix Calendar will open the Team Calendar view of your Matrix team in the Weekly tab. Use the filters to narrow the list of employees displayed on the Team Calendar view. Select an employee to view more details like date, role, schedule, and absence event as in the Administrator Calendar. You can switch to the Matrix team, your peers, or your team in the Team Calendar view from the footer. The Team Calendar for Delegates enables employees to view the delegated transactions that the administrator set up with options to fine-tune the level of access and preferences. This allows you to access the delegated team calendar and view or modify the delegated transactions of their team members. This completes our demonstration of the Team Calendar for Other Roles feature. PeopleSoft HCM introduces the Recognition feature, enabling users to acknowledge achievements and accomplishments of individuals in the organization throughout the year. Using the Team Recognition tile, managers can view the recognitions that their team members have received and the list of recognitions that they've sent to their team members. Select an employee row to view their recognitions. As the manager, you have access to your employees' recognitions that are shared with everyone or employee and manager. Whether you're using the feature as a manager or an employee, things you can do with recognitions are pretty much the same. You can create posts and like posts, view who else received the recognition if it's a group post, add comments if enabled, and report inappropriate posts and comments. 
You can also edit or delete posts and comments that you authored. Add a new recognition. When adding a new recognition from an employee's page, the system pre-populates that employee as the recipient. Enter what you want to tell the employee, who can see it, and whether viewers can enter comments. You can create group recognitions by adding multiple people to be the recipients and providing an optional name for the group. Employees can use the recognition tile to view and interact with recognitions that are visible to everyone or just the peers based on personal preferences. Recognitions that they received, including the new one that the manager just created, and the ones that they sent to others. The recognition feature integrates with performance management to provide easy access to recognitions from performance documents. Use the View Recognitions icon to view recognitions that the employee received during the review period as you update the manager or self-evaluation. The system delivers the recognition administration tile for administrators to review posts and comments that employees reported and decide if the comment in question should remain hidden or be displayed. This completes our demonstration of the employee recognition feature. PeopleSoft HCM delivers the Manage Leave Donation functionality in Fluid, enabling employees to donate, receive, return, terminate, and view a history of their leave donation transactions from desktops and smartphones. The Manage Leave Donation page displays the Donate Leave and Receive Leave Donation tiles initially if you haven't submitted any leave donation transaction before. The Leave Donation History tile becomes available after you've received or donated leave time. The return unused leave and end leave donation tiles are displayed if the employee requests to donate or receive leave after the absence calendar is finalized. Add a request to donate leave time. Select the leave program from the list to donate your time. Details of the selected program appear automatically. You can expand the program details section to view all the information about this transaction. Select to view a different entitlement and hour balance if applicable, and enter the value to be donated. Submit and confirm the leave donation request. The submitted leave donation is available for review from the View Requests section. You can request donated leave from a leave program for yourself or on behalf of another employee. Add a request to receive a leave donation. Select the program of choice and view its details. Select if the request is for yourself or another employee. If it's for another employee, enter the employee's name. Enter the begin date, end date, and the hours requested. Select a reason for requesting the leave donation. Submit and confirm the received donation request. The Leave Donation History tile appears after you've submitted a request to either donate or receive leave time. Use the Leave Donation History page to view the history and approval status of your leave donation and leave donation receive requests, as well as edit any saved requests. Select a transaction to view the details. The information you see varies with respect to the type of request and status of approval. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Leave Donations feature. PeopleSoft enhances the limit table to meet the requirements of Secure Act 2.0, Section 109 that allow different catch-up contribution limits by age for individuals under retirement plans. The Benefits Administrator can now enter different catch-up amounts for different age groups using the age limit grid. This applies to 415, 402G, and 457 limit types. The current Savings Plan Age 50 Extensions page is also updated with a new page title and removal of the annual cap expansion. The amount of the extension will now be based on the age limit extension on the limit table. On the updated page, now called Savings Age Catch-Up Extension, you can run multiple limit types at once. This feature also enhances the Savings Age Catch-Up Extension Application Engine program to use the limit specified on the limit table to generate the limit adjustment amount entries for benefits savings management. This assists in reducing errors as the amounts don't have to be entered individually on the processing page. A 415C age limit is now available as requested on the Ideas Lab. 
This will assist employers in tracking the limit. This completes the Savings Plan Flexible Age Limit and 415C Age 50 Catch-Up Description. Fluid Person Data, which was delivered in Image 47, allows organizations to use fluid approvals for requests to add new employees, contingent workers, or persons of interest with a job. In Image 48, approvers now have access to the Edit Details link from the Pending Approvals pages. Approvers can select this link to access the corresponding Organizational Relationship Activity Guide in Edit Mode and make changes to the job data prior to approving the request. This completes the Fluid Personal Data Edit Capabilities for Approver feature description. The Remote Worker Request feature makes updating requests even easier by automatically updating the end date of a current row when adding a new request. When a new request overlaps with the end date of a current request, the page will notify you that the end date for the previous request will be set to the day before the start date of the new request. If Approvals is enabled, the Pending Approvals page will display a similar notification. The end date will be updated upon approval. If Approvals is not enabled, the end date will be added to the previous transaction when saved, and the new end date will appear on the Remote Worker Request page. This completes the Remote Worker Request Update Enhancement feature description. PeopleSoft HCM delivers several enhancements to the Managed Job Opening page. Recruiters and recruiting administrators can now see additional information for their applicants. Additional information is available for the Manage Applicant page as well. You can use the Page and Field Configurator to hide columns in the grid for the Manage Applicant or Manage Job Opening page. You can now choose to hide specific recruitment phases on the Manage Job Opening page. Located on the Recruiting Installation page is the option to indicate the phases to be hidden. For example, this setting hides the phases Root and Hold from the Phases funnel on the Manage Job Opening page. Another additional enhancement is the ability to configure the display of confirmation messages when an applicant is rejected or marked as reviewed. This completes the Using Configuration to Enhance Manage Job Opening Page feature description. Payroll for North America delivered the U.S. Tax Preparer Import File feature in Image 44, allowing administrators to create files with W-2 W2C data for all employees to be sent to tax preparation software providers for tax filing purposes. Starting in image 48, employees can opt out of sharing their W2 W2C data with tax preparation software providers. Use the third party data sharing consent section of the W2 W2C consent page to provide or withdraw the consent to share tax data. The checkbox label changes based on your current consent status. This section appears if configured. If you've withdrawn the consent, your W-2 W-2C data will be excluded from the import file created for tax preparation software providers. Administrators can reset employees' consent statuses for sharing tax data. For example, before enabling employees to provide or withdraw consent in employee self-service. Run reports to view consent statuses of employees and review consent and email notification status by individual employee. This completes the opt-out sending W-2 info to tax preparer provider using the employee self-service feature description. With PeopleSoft HCM's Element Trace Viewer feature, you can see how and in what sequence each element on the process list was resolved during absence and payroll processing. It gives the user a better experience while analyzing internal or extracted element resolution chains. You can view the resolved elements for a payee by using the Element Trace Viewer during absence or payroll processing that was run with the Trace All Elements option enabled. The Element Trace Viewer page includes a header, left panel, and right panel. In the header section, you can view the employee's name, employee ID, employee record, and calendar group ID with the description. In the left panel, you can view a list of the calendars or segments that have been traced, ordered by process descend order. The right panel displays the content of the calendar or segment that is selected on the left panel, 
as well as the element's resolution details. Three tabs are available in the Element Index section, Element, Additional Details, and Other Data. You can view the values and the forwarded retro deltas in the Element section. The Additional Details tab displays the details of the elements, including the section in which the element is processed and slice dates. The Other Data tab includes additional information like pin number, audit ID, level, sequence, and order. The Element Details section displays the value that each element took during the process in addition to the element processing and step-by-step -step element resolution, based on element type. This completes the Global Payroll and Absence Management Element Trace Viewer feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the Update Image Overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.